Hello guys. This is your mid month reading for November. November 15th through the 30th. <clears throat> Could extend a little past the 30th and on into December. Let's see. I have some Romance Angels cards here to um, look at for you guys once your reading is done and see if the message coincides with your reading or if there is a different message altogether for you guys here. Let's see what energy okay, is around you. And we have the Princess of Swords. You guys are looking for something, checking something out here, um, trying to figure out what is best for you in the upcoming future here. Uh, I don't see a lot of action being taken. I don't see a lot being said. I think right now you're just kind of like in this observing mode. This is some um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here with the Princess of Swords. What's crossing my Virgos? Ace of Cups. There's been a couple of signs that, that have gotten this. Um, the Ace of Cups in your reading for today. Uh, but the Ace of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And um, I see you guys are looking for something else that uh, that may fulfill you. Because I'm getting there is something that you're not so happy with currently. And um, you're, you're looking out towards the horizon. Towards future endeavors in love. Okay. What makes your heart... Um, saying what makes your heart feel good. Let's see what the underlying issue here is for you guys. What's the underlying issue here? Eight of Swords. You guys are sick and tired of a situation. I feel like some of you are sick of babying somebody. You're sick of um, all the issues that have just like been building up to this point. And I feel like a lot of you are seeking something else um, outside of this this misery that I feel like you've been going um, through with this person. And it has been an ongoing thing here with this eight. Just this ongoing cycle with this person, okay? Uh, Gemini energy there. Let's see what was been going on in the recent past for you guys. What's been going on for Virgos in the recent past? Princess of Wands. I think you were actually hoping um, for some sort of change, some sort of sign that things were going to get better. You were looking for some good news here with this Princess of Wands energy. But now I feel like you're at a point where you feel like things may not get better. And so you're looking, um, you're checking out other things, other avenues that, that you feel like are going to be more beneficial for you. Princess of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Crowning thoughts for Virgo. Six of Wands, you definitely want to be successful. You want to be recognized for your efforts. You want to be around people that actually appreciate you. Because I'm getting that somebody has really taken advantage of the situation or you feel that way. Um, and it's been going on for a while. Okay, but I think now it's like you're ready to move forward past this. You're ready to do different things, things that make you happy and be around people that actually notice you and appreciate you for your efforts and whatever you do. Okay, Leo energy there. Yeah, what's coming in for Virgo? The Hermit, your card. There you are again. Try to find out what is your path. Where are you going? What is it that you're supposed to be doing? What is your destiny? Who is your destiny? Okay. This is all about you, I feel. And realizing your worth and um, making people notice it, okay? How is Virgo viewing, okay, viewing this situation, the chariot, you want to be successful? Mm-hmm. And you want to be successful in your one-on-one -on -one relationships, your partnerships, your home, your family life. 
This is all about you. Sevens and nines, all about you. Okay? Cancer energy. And you feel like you're on your way. But I feel that you are, you know, not just like jumping into things full force. I think you're really kind of like, you know, checking things out, checking out the scenery, uh, checking out people, checking out situations because, you know, I'm hearing long term. You, you guys are looking for long term longevity because <clears throat> I think you don't want to just keep changing things up and changing up with people. So. What is the influence here for Virgo? Three of Swords. You guys have been hurt. You have definitely been hurt. I think that you've been having, um, trying to figure things out and trying to move past certain things, but I don't see that you guys are on the same page. Uh, I think maybe, you know, Maybe you guys have tried to get like a mediator or something to like intervene and to help you work through your problems, but um, I, I, I'm getting that nothing is working. You're trying to see your way through the disappointment that you have felt in this relationship with this person for a while, and um, I, I'm getting that you're just at your wits end and um, ready to go your separate way is what I'm getting here. Leave her energy there. Hopes or fears for Virgo. Hopes or fears for Virgo. Five of Cups. I think you don't want to have any regrets about um, moving on from someone. You don't want to have any regrets. Scorpio energy. What is the overall outcome here for Virgos? Overall outcome for Virgos. The world. Look at you. Coming full circle. Coming into yourself. Knowing yourself. Knowing what you want, what you need, what you will tolerate. Um, yeah, this is Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo energy here. This is... Um, a culmination of all of the lessons that you have been through, all of the, the terribly hard lessons that you've been through. Now you're ready to do something different. You're ready to start over. You're ready to live your life to the fullest, I feel here, with this world energy. And I see you guys really being able to do that, but you're going to have to have the confidence and the faith that things are going to work out as long as you do things with dignity is what I'm getting here because I see that that is what you're trying to do you're really trying to figure out um, you know how not to um, intentionally hurt someone even though you've been hurt you're really trying to figure this shit out and do what's best for you in the long run okay so let's see uh, deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship and then we have a reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life so someone may be leaving and someone else may be coming okay and I definitely see that I see you looking for new opportunities here um, in love with the ace of cups I definitely see that because somebody has been taking taking you guys for granted here. So, yeah. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you. And um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.